Love is the world's infinite mutability. Lies, hatred, murder even, are all on the top in it. It is the inevitable blossoming of its opposites, a magnificent rose smelling faintly of blood. When I think of my wife, I always think of her head. I picture cracking her lovely skull and spooling her brain. The primal questions of a marriage. What are you thinking? How are you feeling? What have we done to each other? What scared me wasn't that he pushed me. What scared me was how much he wanted to hurt me more. What scared me is that I'd finally realised I'm frightened of my own husband. Valentine's Day. I thought I'd buy a gun. That's how crazy I've become. Everyone told us and told us and told us marriage is hard work. And compromise and more work, abandon all hope, he who enter. Well, it's not like that. Not for me and Nick. These, these two years have been good. I swore I'd never be one of those wives. I, I, think, I think I've done a pretty good job. You're out so much. Stay with me. I'm already late, Ames. Well then, can I come? It's just a bunch of dumb high school friends. Do the code. No bullshit. Babe, I thought we weren't going to be those people. Want to test your marriage for weak spots? Add one recession. Subtract two jobs. More games? I felt the need to shoot something. What's the laptop for? Laptoping. Right, I forgot. You can give your parents £879,000 without asking me, but God forbid I go and buy a Legend of Zelda for myself. You're spending a lot. Amy. I know you don't trust me, you don't trust my judgement, you don't trust my intentions. What are you talking about? That's the basic tenets of the prenup, right? Why are you throwing that in my face again? Because it's easy to throw. Nate, I, I don't get it. It's like you're daring me to be someone I don't want to be. The, the nagging wife, the controlling bitch. I'm not that person. I'm your wife. I'm not going to be scared anymore. I thought our marriage was dead and then the most wonderful thing happened. Our baby is six weeks in my belly today, the size of a lentil. So for the baby's sake, I'm going to be positive from now on, sane, happy. I will practice believing my husband loves me and will love this baby, that this child really might save our marriage, but I could be wrong, because sometimes the way he looks at me, I think man of my dreams, father of my child, this man of mine may kill me.